So we just looked at the optimum way that a leaf knows how to spiral its leaves to capture the most sun that it can to survive. And it does that in the Fibonacci sequence. This was the sequence that has become now known as the famous Fibonacci sequence, which has inspired many, many metaphysicians and scientists and teachers and people like myself. We believe it's one of the ultimate secret codes that nature expresses itself in. We can create or tap into the world of nuclear geometry, literally going through the back door of nuclear physics by the world of mathematics. By, by entering this realm of mathematics, we're getting the same diagrams as what scientists are with their microscopes. NASA are secretly using this Vedic mathematics in what we call robotics, artificial intelligence, because they, they're trying to understand how does the brain really work? How do we simulate the brain? Oh, the brain can just do mental calculations like this. What's 96 times 95? It must be 96 less 5 is 91, 5, 6 is a 30. Yep, 9,130. The future in sound and geometry is to be able to see the shapes of sound. We've done a lot of work with chanting the sounds of the chakras, like when we chant the sound of the heart chakra, it has a specific frequency and it's an ah. When you feel love, you feel that sound of ah. But if you were to measure that sound as a frequency and, and to see how that sound vibrates on a plate of glass with lots of fine sand particles, the sand particles magically in front of your eyes would form the shape of the Star of David. So shape and sound relate to frequency vibration. We suddenly found a way of travelling through the dimensions, of changing our size from an atom into a galaxy and conversely. And this was the secret of the Pythagoreans. 